Hey, YouTube, this is Bangor Sam, right back in another video for you guys. I'm uh, giving my thoughts for a Spongebob spinoff. Because apparently, at least after the death of the creator, they decided the Nickelodeon higher ups decided are going to do multiple Spongebob spinoff projects. One of which is, I'm guessing, a project where all the Spongebob characters are younger called Can't Quarrel. Uh, Can't Quarrel which. Honestly, it's not surprising because in the '90s, that was kind of a big thing. A lot of people, a lot of shows went the way of like the Muppet Babies, or after that show, where there's like the Flintstone Kids, Tom and Jerry Kids. Uh, there may have been others. Those are the two that uh, pop up most in my mind. Honestly, the kid phenomenon thing, I think, ended sometime after the '90s. But. Yeah, so apparently they're doing a Spongebob. I'm not a Spongebob Super Band, my brother is, so, uh, I'm gonna show errors. Maybe I'll, my brother, do a review of the first episode and give you his thoughts. Um, but here's an idea I had for a Spongebob spinoff that would take some characters we know and some that we only partially know and allow us to explain on that part of the Spongebob universe that they only talked about, like, one time. Sorry. Anyways, what I'm thinking of is expand on the Mermaid Man mythos. Hear me out. We've seen some adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle when they're younger. Granted, they have to get someone else to play Mermaid Man because Adam West is no longer among the living. May he rest in peace. But here's my idea do a show in the style of the old Batman Superman adventures using Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Hear me out. While we know a lot about them, we don't know very much about their former teammates, the International Association of Super Acquaintances. Man, that's a long name. I mean, we know that later on, several of the SpongeBob characters, Patrick, Sandy, SpongeBob, and Squidward, end up becoming superheroes. Captain Magma, the Elastic Waistband, the Quickster, and uh, Miss Appear. But we don't know about the original version of those heroes. You know, how they got their powers. Mermaid Man said it was all in the costume. And maybe it was, but there had to be some event that involved in creating the costume and these personas. And who were they when they were not in their costumes? Also, what happened to them? We know they were very popular because SpongeBob shows the lunchbox. Because he even says, you, and you had the best lunchbox too. But. Among that, we never actually know what happened to them. This is the one part of the Spongebob universe I don't think they ever really talked about. The superhero aspect of it. Now, this is just my idea. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big hardcore Spongebob fan. I've seen some episodes here and there, and frankly, the uh, superhero ones tend to be my favorites. I mean, we mentioned that Burmary Man Barnacle's origin, as weird as that was. But we've never talked about any other heroes beside them. And it occurred to me that there is literally, I don't know if they were, because they were international, so they were in other waters besides the Kingdom Bottom, honestly. So, if, I doubt anyone from the world is watching, but if that, if anyone is, that's my pitch. Take two characters we know, and take several characters we don't know, and do a superhero show. I mean, the only thing the superhero show wise they've got is, the Adventures of Kid Danger. So I don't think another superhero show will really hurt. And like I said, they do it in the style of the Batman Superman show where it's like several different episodes of each character for each character and then maybe in the team. They can do different ones each time. Like you could do a Quickster and a Mr. Pierce story and then end it with like a team up story. Or they could do a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and then end it with um, a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and then show Captain Magma and then end it with a team-up story. Or just do a full-on team-up story. I mean, there are many things you could do, and it could kind of be kind of a little nod to the past, as well as pouring something different. Those are my thoughts. What do you think a good Spongebob spinoff would be? Let me know in the comment below. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you'd like to see any more videos like this, let me know. I'm the American Samurai, Bucky749, and these were my thoughts. Good night, everybody.